Anybody watching yet? Okay. Um, why, babe? Okay, got one person watching. Hope everybody is well. Well, I have one watching. Hope everyone is doing well today. Hello. These glasses are not cutting it. Let me see about these. Hello. I hope everybody is doing awesome. Them glasses aren't cutting it either. I may have to go get my other pair of glasses. I have to be able to see those cards. Some of them have little writing. Let's see. Let's see if I can get my daughter to bring them. We'll wait on a few people to get on. And then we'll pull some cards. I'm going to ask my daughter to come bring me my glasses. Okay. Yeah, these here. I can't see with them. I can't even see what, hardly what you've wrote. <laughs> so... Yeah. But I thought we I would come on and we would pull some um cards and just see what we what we pick up on today. Say what sign are y'all? See if I can see it. I may have to go down there and get them myself. Yeah, hopefully some more people come on. Okay, so we've got um, your Capricorn, Jonathan, or an Aquarius? Or have you got both in your chart? And then elsewhere, briefly... Aquarius. Okay, Sag rising. Well, as y'all probably already know, I'm an Aquarius. I've got um, a lot of Aquarius and Sagittarius in my chart. A lot. <laughs> it's, it's almost a half and half almost. Let's see. Capricorn Sun, Aquarius Moon, Sag Rising. Okay. Well, if I can get them to get her to bring me my glasses, we will. So we've got three people watching, it says. I'd like to have a few more. So how has everybody been? Put your energy out towards me. Um, so that when we get going, let's see if, now they already threw the card out. Oh, they actually threw out four cards. Okay, determination, the chariot, fulfillment. Okay, frustration, the realist. Okay, um, is someone trying to move towards something? 
there's a bit of indecision going on, moving towards something, something that's important, something that feels like it could bring fulfillment, but at the same time, there's a sense of frustration. Um, so whoever this is, I feel like with the realist coming out, there's something that needs to be looked at from a, oh my goodness, a different point of view. Whatever this is um, that you're indecisive about, yeah, take another look and look at it clearly because we've got introspection here and visionary up under that. Uh, so whatever this is, I don't know who this is for. There's some decision about something. Okay, let's see. Uh, Capricorn, um, let's see. I am going to have to go get my glasses. My daughter is actually upstairs. Okay, so I will be right back with you because they are throwing them out. Okay, illusion. With illusion coming out. Okay, and I feel like this is, yeah, okay, fear of the moon. There's an illusion around something. Somebody needs to look at it. It's got to do with fear. Um, I feel like it has to do with that, what I was talking about a while ago, a decision that needs to be made. Yes, I feel a lot better. Thank, thank goodness I do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it was bad there for a while. Okay, perfectionist. Is somebody a perfectionist? Okay, let me, um, I'm going to go get my glasses. I will be right back with you in just a second. Okay, I am so sorry about that. Okay, I got my good ones. Okay. A little bit dirty, but at least I'll be able to see. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can read some of y'all. Yeah, I'm reading much better. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad I'm feeling better as well. But now my oldest daughter and uh, son-in-law are sick, so do keep them in your prayers. Okay, let's see. Since we don't have many people on there, um, what it, what what is something that y'all want to know about? I know it shows that we've got like four love, money, and we will just take and see what the cards say. Just somebody throw something out at me. Health. Love. Okay. Okay, health. Somebody got bad health? Health. Is this something... Um, because I'm seeing the moon. Health. Health. 
love okay we will definitely get to love um that health and relocation okay let's ask about the health first here okay health Health. Okay, something needs to be looked at again. Um, protection. Okay, introspection. Something needs to be looked at health-wise. Um, something because protection is needed now. Is someone, um, is there some depression or such? Because something needs to change or worry. We need to um, come to the place of joy. Something has to change in someone's life. There's something about change around your health issue or somebody's health issue. It's like being at a crossroads, not knowing what. <sighs> There's difficulty. Difficulty. Okay. Hmm. Tell us about this health. Health. It's just, you know, when you just say health. Okay. You need to move forward with something. There's something that needs to be looked at as far as health. There's something needs to be looked at. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm going to tell you something, though. One thing I'm feeling, and I'm getting spirit tingles with it. If you're carrying a lot of burden... And a lot of, um, yeah, burden, difficulty, burden. Um, you need to change that. And there needs to be more joy in your life or whoever's life this is. That's not going to help. Okay, vertigo. Hmm, my goodness, that's a bad one. Okay. Let's see, they're throwing out kings. Okay, that's why we've got the Knight of Swords out, moving too fast. Knight of Swords flies, um, goes rather fast, and my full card just fell on the floor. Okay, you need to change, change, it feels like movement for one, which going too fast can cause vertigo. Um, but I still feel like there's something needs to be further looked into. With introspection, there's something not being seen. Um, you may need to, I hate, I hate to say it, but you may need to go to a, there, you may need to get second opinions. There may be something more to this. Um, you know, I would take that leap to try to find more out about this before just jumping and saying, okay, that's exactly all that's wrong. Because it feels like there could be something else. Um, and it doesn't mean that it's anything bad or anything. But, you know, it could be something else. Okay. Okay. Someone asked about move, moving. Um, okay. And they just threw some cards out. And I, I've got that about moving. Relocation. Um, okay. This is about move moving. It can be. Now, also, they... I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles coming out, there is a chance of having um, plenty. So that that's a good that's you know a good sign of things being plentiful. A move, a good ideal. Move, a good ideal. Work where you're going. Um, you may have to work hard though, but the Ten of Pentacles has come out. You know. Um, okay, what else do we have here? Okay, I would, I would, because it, it's showing introspection, so there may be more to be looked at. Um, now, let's see, love, for sure, we'll do love. We get the relocation, looks like it, it could be good in your favor, um, as far as finding a job or finding work or where money is concerned. Now, if that was what you were wondering about. Let's see. Movement. 
Jonathan Walker. Relocation. Okay, a move could be very healing. It could be balancing. Um, especially if you're in a place where it seems like it's just not doing you any good. And I mean, that may just not even, I mean, that may just be moving, you know. <laughs> it sounds like you've got this in your mind. Um, so if you've been in something where you need to heal from something, a move could be, you know, yeah, helpful in that sort. Okay, let's look at, um, who asked about love? Aquarian. Okay, Aquarian. I can't even see that good, but okay. Love, love. Okay. Okay, love. Love, Aquarian, Aquarian, Aquarian. Aquarian. Okay. Are you a perfectionist, Aquarian? Um, I think that's Chancellor or Chancellor or something like that. Okay. Where love is concerned, there needs to be a balance, a balance of generosity. Um, okay. Someone is nitpicking, or and I don't know if that's you or someone else, um, because I've got the analyst and I've got the perfectionist out at the same time. In other words, someone wants things their way. There's going to have to be a balance of generosity or something isn't going to work. It's not going to work. So that's something to look at. In the love, you know, if you're dealing with someone or even if you're not dealing with someone and this is something coming in, be sure it's equal because, you know, if we, I mean, it's easy to say, well, I don't want someone that's like this or I don't want someone that's like that. But at the same time, we have to look at ourselves. You know, there has to be a balance. That's what I'm getting with that. Okay. Well, I hope that helped. Now, who else was it? Let's see up there. Um, elsewhere briefly. Love. Love for elsewhere briefly. Elsewhere briefly. Love. Woo, mercy. Okay. Are you at a crossroads of thinking about something? Figuring out something? You're very private. Someone's very private. Someone knows their worth and their value. We have got 10 of roses, so, okay. Okay, are you very private, or is this someone you're dealing with? Um, someone, okay. Someone's obsessed about something. You're obsessed about something about another person. So, I don't know if this is you or someone's obsessed about you. Okay, where are you? Let's see. Where are you? It already moved. Okay. Elsewhere briefly. There's a sense of obsession here. Someone knows their worth and their value. Um, a very private energy. This is either you or them. But at the same time, someone's got an obsession. There's. Okay. You're at a crossroads. And. It, okay. Yeah, that can be seen with the hangman. Okay. Oh, that's the attitude card. So I feel like with the visionary coming out here, I feel like, honestly, you need to step back. Hangman comes out. It's it, You know, for me, that's often take a step back. Look from, you know, look at everything. Maybe you're used to just looking at certain things. You need to look at look at the whole view. And even try to see it from another person's aspect. Because I feel like that by doing that, that's going to help you to be able to um, figure out what you need to do, which way you need to go. Um, and don't stress yourself out over it. I'm going to tell you, worry is like a rocking chair. It's, it's, it's something to do, but it's not going to get you anywhere. So don't do that. Don't stress yourself out over it. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. Let's see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Okay. Norma Gordon. Okay. Spiritual gifts. What exactly are you wanting to know about spiritual gifts?
You are very welcome. And that's what you need to do. I feel like it'll come to you. Okay. Um, spiritual gifts, Norma. Gordon, are you on here? Um, we had a card that... Okay. <laughs> okay. You... If you don't know what your spiritual gifts are, you got the visionary. So you're going to need to, I feel like, open yourself up for one, but you need to look into things. You need to, um, oh my goodness. Okay, there's so much information out there now. Don't limit yourself on spiritual gifts. I'm going to tell you right now. Don't put a name on yourself. But do look up and do research. And if you're not opened up to your spiritual gifts, you need to ask God and the angels, you know, the universe to help open you up to your gifts so that you can help others. That's very important. Okay, now who else? Let's see. Let me go down through here. Okay, let's see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Crossroads. Um. Kita, was you wanting to know about love or was you just saying hey to me? And then, okay, Kita, you're wanting to know about love. Okay, Kita. Kita and love. Kita and love. Don't give your power away to anyone. Hey. Okay, let me see what we got for you here. Okay. Kita, are you dealing with someone or are you wanting something to come towards you? Because I'm going to tell you right now, we got the habits card out. There's something here about habits that that takes me to. Thank you so much, Jonathan. I truly appreciate that. That takes me to patterns. That takes me to a place of um, needing to overcome because you got triumph. So you got the, the emperor, which is the power card. Now, I'm going to tell you, okay, you need to keep hold of your power. If someone is in your life, cut out any, any habits, any, um, now this thing, and it's not just about you, anything that is not fulfilling to a relationship or to your good, your higher good, um, the relationship's higher good, cut it out. Take your power back. You can have a victory. Now, if you are dealing with someone coming towards you, you need to look at patterns. And you need to take your power. You need to keep your power. You don't need to have patterns that are going to cause you to be at a place where, oh my goodness, you feel like you, you just can't win for losing. And I feel like with seeing victory here, power card, which is the emperor, Habits and, and triumph. I feel like you can overcome this. It's like you got this. You just got to hold on to your power. That's a big thing it feels like for me. That's what I'm, I'm getting. Okay. Okay. Anybody else on here? Anybody else? I hope that helped. Okay. Let's see. Who wants a romance angel? Oh, you are very welcome. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Okay. Anybody want a romance angel? Whoop. Ah, looky there. The sun card. Support, support. And, you know, that, that is a beautiful card to get. The sun card, by the way, is the yes card. If you had a yes or no question. Now, I'm going to tell you. If your yes or no question was already answered previously, by your own self and your, you know what I'm saying, felt from your heart, and especially if this is about a person that, you know, sometimes we get hung up on someone and everything's telling us no. Lots of times we're being told no by higher power. We just keep hanging out. So often I, you know, I like to re. I don't, I, I feel like people need to look at this yes card in a different light. Because sometimes we can just ask a question after we see that card and we're like, no, it, it's more a feeling like if you had a question. Okay. So, let's see here. 
divine timing in your life divine timing in your life and you know i feel like divine timing comes in my opinion it comes you know that's like when we get that card divine timing and i don't see that as a a, a bad card to get and this sun card that could very well be what that is but it's happy you know it's happy so i like, I like that card i really do okay Okay, let's see. It is hot up here. Roasted chicken. Okay, romance angel. Who wants one? Let's see. Who wants a romance angel? Husband needs a job. Any cards to give me hope? Okay, let me see. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. Rhonda. Okay. Okay. Hello. Okay. Her husband needs a job. Husband needs a job. Husband needs a job. Well, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that. Um, okay. Is there something to do with um, some form of recovery of any sort? We've got him. Okay. There's going to have to be a form of endurance and being uh, very determined on his part. And if he has got very, um, see, we got recovery and transformation. Now, this does not have to be that someone is recovering from a health issue or recovering from um, um, an addiction, although it could be. But on the other hand, this can also be carrying too much weight carrying too much burden um but at the same time we have to be very determined he needs to have a sense of determination i feel like that um see we got temperance there there needs to be a balance and a sense of harmony now i'm gonna tell you right now what i'm getting playful and bliss okay and that's also the three of shells. That's getting out in the public, getting out where he needs to get out. Um, so inspiration and intu intuition. I'm going to tell you what I'm getting. I feel like that he's going to have to change the way he's going about it. And I'm going to tell you, if we go out and we're just like if you go in a restaurant, per se, when I go to a restaurant, you know, I love whenever my server or waiter has got a happy vibe about them and it just touches you you know what i'm saying i feel like for because i went out earlier and um see that's what this is taking me back to there's something about the way that he just needs to have this confidence and this uplift about him and that's what i'm feeling from these cards and that feels like that can make a difference but has to get out there as well with the three of shells that's like being out in the public, being out around people um, and feeling a harmony and being balanced at the same time. So I hope that helped. Let's see. When will you find love? I am. Oh, hello. Oh, my goodness. Timing, huh? Timing, huh? Hmm. Oh, let's see. I am she in love. I am she in love. I am she in love. I need. Okay. And I need a timing card. Okay. Oh, crap. <laughs> I just throw them all on the floor. Okay. That one turned over for timing. Okay. And it fell right on top of a relationship. Okay. Um, now, you know, I can't tell you exactly when because everyone has free will and that's what people don't understand everybody has free will it's not like fortune telling i mean that's what people perceive but we all have a free will to change things okay your timing card and these flipped on me but they are not turned okay they give a whole reading here so for your timing card 
this flipped whenever I said timing card. Now for me, what I'm feeling on this, because I did ask it that way, I didn't do it the other way where I would do um, like a, you know, a higher um, card. I would say seven because that's what's on here. Um, seven months. <laughs> I don't want to say seven years, but you know, seven. Something to do with seven. That could be like the seventh of the month, too. See if you're on the right path. Well, I got a whole reading that's fell out right here. Um, and I am she. That, that reading, it may may hit for you but it may hit for other people as well i feel like because i had other people asking about it okay now who wanted that one card okay if you're on the right path christine fletcher on the right path with the ace of wands coming out it feels like yes it feels like yes um you know the ace of wands is also quickly quicker a quicker feel Okay, what else we got here? And then I'm gonna, I'll get to that reading. See, I had a whole stack fall out. Okay, what else have I got here? Well, let's see. Hello. You're wanting to know if your present boss and co-workers are plotting any way that is negative and selfish in all what should you expect. I'm actually seeing the illusion card. So this could be an illusion that you're feeling now. Then again, I'm seeing the moon card. Okay. Let's see. Ernestine Mitchell, co-workers. Innovation, optimism, co-workers, okay, preparation, resourcefulness, discovery, and enthusiasm. I feel like you need to just, just, you just need to be, okay, wait a minute. Well, for one, I feel like that um, you need to stand your ground for yourself. But I, I would not. Okay, if do you have reason to believe this? Because I, what I'm feeling like is that it could be someone's put something out and it's causing an illusion. I keep seeing the moon card. Um, at the same time, though, I see where you should not trust as far as talking your personal talk to these people. So I would not talk my personal talk. Uh, be be courteous, but don't talk your personal talk. Yeah, don't do that. I'm getting too much. Too much talk is not a good thing. Okay. Boss. Boss. Just be courteous and generous. Don't, don't, don't give out too much. And don't by any means feel defeated. Don't don't let let anyone think you feel that way. That's what I'm getting for. I hope that helped. Okay, a question for me. Uh, will your friend from Texas be someone you will end up with? Mm. Free will. Free will. Remember that, Chrissy. Okay, the friend from Texas for Chrissy. Possibility. We got sacrifice and work. So someone will have to sacrifice something. Disappointment. It doesn't feel that way. We got the disappointment card. Um, I feel like if there's a relationship, is it just friendship, just work, work related or such? Because that's what it's feeling like. Yes, free will. Free will, you know, just like divine timing. I mean, everyone can change something. I could tell you something right here. You go, do, if you don't like what I say, go do the opposite, you know, do something else. And, 
You know, I mean, if it's something like um, for, okay, how do I put that? Like if someone reads you something and they tell you something and you're like, well, oh no, I don't want that to happen. Then make it not happen, you know, unless it's seeing something. Now, that's a whole different story. We got 1111 up there. Make a wish. Um, Make a wish. Okay, let's see. Respect. That's a big deal right there. Um, that person in Texas, there is a possibility, but, you know, I don't want you to be disappointed. So I would be, you know, I would, you need to respect yourself for one. And just, you know, if you're going to be wasting your life waiting, I wouldn't do that because I got disappointment. Okay, who else we got here? Okay, who else? Who else? Who else? Okay, I am she. Is anyone coming towards I am she? I am she. Okay. Okay. Um, there seems to be someone coming towards you. Now, you have to be on the path, though. See, people don't understand that. I mean, you could be just sitting at home, and they may just come right to your door. But then what if they don't? You know what I'm saying? Okay. I am she. You got sacrifice. You got determination. And that's chariot moving forward towards romance. So that's not bad. You got to make it what you want it, though. And romance is not always love. Let's say, you know, doesn't. Yeah. Okay, who else? What else we got here? What else? What else? What else? Free will, just friends at the moment. Okay. And I would just move slow. You don't want to get disappointed. You don't want to get, you know. But at the same time, you know, we do have to uncover our heart a little bit. Um, okay. But that's if there's distance, you know, yeah, that long distance stuff. Um, okay. Oh, you are very welcome. Very, very welcome. Okay, romance, angels, um, family. Okay, Varric, are you wanting a romance angel? Is that what you're saying? Let's see here. Who else we got? I'm going to call him back. But, yes, thanks for the advice. He's a Leo. He's a Leo. Yeah. That distance, I mean, it works out for some... But with that dis disappointment card coming out and then the sacrifice and then the work card coming out, it's like someone's going to have to sacrifice a lot. It's a possibility, but in the other, you know, it may not be. Okay, we're going to do, who was it wanted? Wait a minute. Barrett, where are you at? What was you wanting? Okay, I know I've seen that. Somebody wanted um, a romance angel. Who was it? Let's see. And the general card for, okay. General card for Aquarius, because I don't know what to read in here. I got to do. This would be around love. Victory. So, um, Christine Fletcher, you got victory. Something um, to do with love. And that love does not have to be romance. I'll go ahead and tell you. It can be love in your family. Um, whoever wanted that romance angel, let me get it before I forget. Well, there you go. It just flew right out. I don't know. Was it Varric? It's done scrolled on me. Okay. We have got forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. But then we also have free yourself. It's time to take control of your life back. So them go together pretty well there. So, whoever it was, was wanting that romance. Okay, it was Varric. Varric, there you go. Um, having to do with family, there's something that needs to be forgiven. But there's a lesson that needs to be learned as well. And it's not always, a, it doesn't always have to be a lesson. You know, it can just be something that needed to be learned. Okay. Let's see, what else we got here? Want to know where we at? If my... Assistance will come through soon from my house. Mm. That is a, I'm not sure if they'll tell, if I'll get on that. Okay. 
Aqua Blue, the Sisters on House Home. Okay. Okay. For one, you need to keep your um, spirits up. Okay, we got the High Priestess. So how are you looking at this? And have you put in the paperwork that you need to put in? We got the Judgment. But we got the World Card. Something ending. So something can begin. Keep your spirits up. And... Um, Something more about this. What else? Something more. Okay. Okay. Keep your emotions in check. Um, you know, if you're thinking bad, don't think bad. Feel like it's already happening. You want to manifest this coming to you. You don't want to push it away. So stop worrying. And feel like you've already found the victory. Because it feels like with this card coming out and with the hangman being here, if you'll see things a whole lot differently. Now, is that full proof that something may more have to be done, I feel like. But it's not, this doesn't feel like a failure at all. It feels like it can go somewhere, whatever this is for you. Okay, I am she. Good news for God. Mother, I am she. Good news for daughter. Okay, too much worry is not a good thing. Okay, I am she. There may have to, may have to go. Um, there may be more. More visits, it feels like. Whatever this is about. But holding on too much to too much worry is not going to help. Um, and if she's holding on to a lot of worry, that needs to be looked at. There's something, something in the past that it feels like will have to be looked at as far as her health is concerned. Or whatever this is about. You know what it's about. Okay, what else? And thank you so much. Yeah, I like my bows. Okay. Okay. Um, is there something, I am she, is there something toxic or something, um, is she a, a Capricorn maybe? Or there's something toxic. Something um, needs to be, there's something needs to be dealt with or something. Um, it feels like. Okay. Who else? Who else we got here? Um Let's see. Applied in January. Cherokee Nation. And there were taking a long time. Keep up word about it. Okay. Am I on the right path? Norma Gordon. On the right path. On the right path. On the right path. Okay. It feels like that. Um, okay. You've got. Okay. Are you expecting some news, Norma? Feels like you're going to get some. Um, and it feels like that, I mean, this is not reversed. So making decisions about going forward, doing what you need to do. That's that's not a bad thing. Um, now, at the same time, this one here was reversed. So it feels like if there's something that you're not handling... You may be going to get some news about it, and you'll have to deal with whatever that is, it feels like. That's what it feels like the news may be about. Okay. You're very welcome. Um, I don't offer personal readings. Um, every once in a while, I'll come on here and do these, but I don't. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, Myrtle, how can I pick up on someone energy since I am an empath? Well, Myrtle, for one, you have to keep yourself clear. Um, and lots of times, okay, 
That's like me. I pick up on people's energy, and sometimes I know exactly who I'm picking up on, and sometimes I don't. And sometimes you want to pick up on somebody, and you may not pick up on them. Um, clear your mind, and don't don't try so hard to pick up on someone. That, I feel like, can often just put like a block in front of you. Um, are you trying to read someone? Are you... You know, what, how are, I don't get what you're saying exactly. And as far as feeling down, if you are picking up on someone, yeah, you get drained. After I do these right here, these live streams, I'm drained. It drains me. Um, I go in, I can go into Walmart and get around people that drain me. And I mean, just literally. So, yeah, you pick up on people's energy, you know, um, they can pull your energy and not even know they're doing it. Okay, let's see here. Um, let's see. The first thing that Spirit says to you, just me. Okay, the first thing that Spirit says to you, do you want me to take an um, angel card for you? Okay, when you go out, protect yourself, Myrtle. And I will tell you about that in just a minute. I'll tell you how to do that. Um, just me. Okay, I'm going to take one of these, and I'm going to take an angel card for you, and then I'm going to tell Myrtle how to do this. Okay, angels. Okay, got you. Okay, this is for you, and then I'll tell Myrtle how to do that. Okay. Tina thought. Now. What this says is a situation that's been troubling you has come to an end or is about to come to an end. And you can breathe a sigh of relief with the challenging times behind you or about to be behind you. You can now move on. It's important to fully let go at this juncture. Someone in your life may now finally be free of his or her addiction or codependency issues. And I hope that helped. Okay, Myrtle, you need to protect yourself. Okay, protecting yourself. When I first started protecting myself um, before I would go out, I, you know, it was very hard. I'd have to do it at home. And I would like to close my eyes. And you like to picture yourself, you know, breathing in, breathing out. You can say a little prayer. But you bubble yourself. Close your eyes. See yourself in this bubble, this beautiful bubble filled with love, whatever color you see as love. Um, and, you know, I like to just feel, just feel yourself just protected. Nothing's getting in. See people coming to this bubble and they're knocking. They're trying to get in. They can't get in. You're protected. And you just go. Go like that. Now, I've, I forgot to do that plenty of times. And I used to have to get my daughter would look at me in the store. I would be, you know, she's like, Mom, you forgot to protect yourself, didn't you? And I'd have to go to the bathroom and do it. Not anymore. Now, I can literally just be walking and just protect myself. But I forget to do that often. Yeah. So that's something to remember. Okay. Let's see here. Where we at? Okay. Yes. And do ground yourself. That That is so true. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. You want to know. Um, to know about your girlfriend. Okay, what do you, when you say you want to know about your girlfriend, I mean, what what exactly are you, do you want me to just pull a card and then you, you know, I can do that. I'll pull one of these that has words and then you go from that and uh, you ask the angels to tell you what it is that you need to know from that card. Okay. Got the girlfriend. We got two actually for you right here. 
we got Princess of Roses, The Adventurer. And then we've got Nine of Wings, Obsession. So who's obsessed? Is that you or is that them? Because on the bottom we have the romantic. So I'm going to show you each one of these. And no, I don't need your names. There you go. You take it how it, how it resonates with you. That's the adventurer. Someone who is very adventurous. Possibly an Aquarius. Obsession. Obsession can be a very, you know, toxic behavior, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, you want to know if she loves you. Well, someone's obsessed with something. Is that you? We've got the romantic. Okay. Let's see. I'm not sure if they'll give me anything on that. Can I get um, a yes or no about love for Hakim? A yes or no about love? Hmm. Hmm. We got the Hermit, we got the Ace of Wands. This is a very healing energy that could grow or is growing into something. Now, love, I'm not, you know, I've not got the lovers. The lovers not come out. So I really, I'm really not able to tell you that. I feel like they're not going to tell me that. Okay, what else here? I don't feel like they're going to tell me if she loves you. I feel like that's something that they're not going to tell me. Is this a long-lived relationship? Oh, okay. She is 14 and you are 24. Okay. She's not been through her years. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're not going to tell me that. This is, um, yeah, that's why we got the adventurer. Because it's not, I can't interpret that for you. Uh, that's something that is basically free will. We'll put it that way and, you know, where it goes. Let's see. Okay, where am I at? Let's see. Uh Hmm. Let's see. No, I don't um, practice black magic. And I do believe in God. Okay. Let's we'll say, yeah, I can't tell you that. Just to be honest, um, I'm going to do this reading here that I had fall out earlier, and um, yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. This is um, movement towards a relationship. Movement towards a relationship. Yeah, I'm not taking any more questions right now. Um, this is movement towards a relationship. Let's see. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. There's going to be a tower moment for someone. Um, but this is, I feel like this is a relationship that you have to have a lot of strength with. 
If someone has dealt with someone that has taken something from them, taken something away um, from a relationship, there's going to need to be a lot of strength and a lot of, um, oh my goodness, it's just a feeling like someone feels like they've, they've been duped. I'm just going to be honest with you because I'm drawn to the fish in the cup. Um, and there's the justice card out, the tower moment. Something may be ending. Now, this could be ending. Um, this could be ending, you know, as far as such as. Um, for some in court, because we have the um, justice card. Um, for others, it feels like it could be, you know, universal law. And I feel like that um, this ending is something that needs to happen, though. It's something that needs to happen. And uh, we got the Queen of Swords here. And um, the Two of Cups. Seeing what matters about a relationship. Okay. When whatever this is ends with relationship and, you know, it could be about a love relationship, but it doesn't have to be what. Thirteen. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what's happened here. Okay, we'll see where we at. Let's see. Hmm. You know, I, I'm not going to answer. Yeah, I'm not getting anything on that. I'm not going to even go there. Yeah. So, on that, huh, I don't feel like that's for me to even, you know, um, I did not know that. Yeah, that that's I'm not going there on that actually. Let's see. Where's it at? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I'm. I don't know. I'm just. Okay. Now, okay. Whatever this is that needs to, you know, don't, it feels like it's something. It could, and I'm going to be honest, it does not have to be romance. does not have to be. This could be work related. This could be, it's something that, oh no, you are, you know, I just, I can't like, yeah. You know, and yeah, I was picking up something, but it's not the yeah, um on that part. That's that question of fourteen and twenty-four. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, but this is a feel like the Queen of Swords. We cut out what is not serving us. We move away from it. You know, that's why the tower comes down. Everyone looks at that tower card as, oh my, no, 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 no. But sometimes that tower card, sometimes that is like, okay, say you're sitting there and you're not doing what you need to do. Or you're sitting there and you're comfortable. You're in a relationship, you're miserable, it's crap in, but you're comfortable. And you, you don't make a move. You're just sitting there, you know. Even though you're in misery, you know. Um, maybe it's at work. Maybe it's in love, you know. But you're in misery. You're just, you know. Okay, sometimes a higher power says, okay, you're not going to do it on your own. Then it's forced to change. But it's, it's not always a bad thing because, you know, once we take control, you know, if this is love related, it's like you see something different right there on your path. Once you cut out what needs to be cut out, we got 1313 up there on the um, thingamajigger. I don't know what 1313, that's, mm. but once we cut that out, it's like it's in clear sight. Now, 
Does this have to be a relationship around love? No, it does not have to be. But I feel like for some, it may be. Oh, no, you are fine. Um, I wasn't, you know, yeah, that, that question was <laughs> that they asked was, yeah. Um, but, you, yeah, you're fine. Um, everybody's fine. Let's see. Okay, if it is love-related, and it very well could be, it's like you see what's right in front of you. It's, it's, you know, maybe you didn't see it before because you couldn't. Maybe you was in a relationship that wasn't good for you. And it's like it just, you see what I'm saying? Um, and it's like, wow, you know, because then luck changes. Things change. Things start looking better. But, you know, that Wheel of Fortune force change you know what i'm saying but it brings forth something better something better you know something in the way of hmm. now he, here's the kicker are you going to guard yourself or are you going to push this person away if this is love related because there needs to be a good balance have a good balance have a good balance. And let's see. That, 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 um, now I'm seeing the sun card. Somebody have a yes or no question. Um, that star card. Healing. Balance. You know what I'm saying? So this has got such a good feel to it. Okay. If this is, if this, let's do it. Yeah. Okay, if this is work-related, work-related, they just flipped one. Okay, if this is work-related, have the courage and the wisdom and the strength. And some of you may be dealing with a Leo or you may, you may have Leo in your chart. Have strength and courage and, you know, be really, have that endurance you need. And I'm going to tell you right now, be confident. Have confidence in yourself. Don't you need to have confidence in yourself because it's like things can really just pick up, and you know, that's number eight. So, you know, that's what this feel like. Um, things that were just going in circles, it's it's like it's about time to change, you know, because you've got that wheel of fortune there. Okay, now if this is love related, ah. If this is love-related or romantic love, oh my God, that's good. Look at that, victory, victory. So that's got a good feel to it. If this is romantic love-related, victory. Okay, give me one ace. For the romantic love-related, can I have one? Ah! Who's been calling in a soulmate? Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Keep doing those prayers, affirmations, and visualizations. Keep them, keep them going. Keep doing them. I do mine. I want to sell me. I want. I, you know, you, you get to a point where, you know, what you want. Yeah. Now, okay. If this is family, just you know, something to do with family. It feels like. Let me see. Where's my cards? Over here. Family. Family related. Just family friend related maybe. Okay. Okay. If there's something to do with a, a, a family. Something within a family. Um, or. Yeah. There needs to be some ownership. There needs to be some, um, you know, we got the King of Swords that's taking, and there needs to also be a different way of thinking about things. Um, but we've got the Nine of Pentacles, you know, so that's like things looking better, things getting better. But I feel like it's when someone takes charge, the King of Swords, you know, all about that, that charge, but also thinking things through, things moving forward. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like things start moving forward. Now, that is if this is friend-related or um, family-related, you know. Now, I did ask about romantic love as well. 
Okay, now I think I'm going to pull some. Um, who wants me to do some um, of the pick a card like I did the last time I came on? Uh, where I'll lay out three, three stats and you pick. Who wants me to do that? Anybody? Y'all yeah, let me know if you want me to do that. And I will do the three stacks and y'all can look at them, pick a stack, and we'll go from there. Okay, Christine. Okay, Christine wants us to do that. Okay, I feel like we'll do, um, okay, I feel like that we will do, first off, I feel like we need to do some um, angel messages and just general, it feels like general, um, a general look-see card, so give me just a minute. Let me see which would probably be best for that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out some here. And, okay. You like that idea too, C. Davis? Okay. We'll, we're going to do that. Okay, I'm going to use this deck. I'm going to use this deck. And in a minute, don't go nowhere. If you're wanting a love, if you're wanting to, to do about romantic love, I want to do the Romance Angels, the Heart Deck, and the, um, this one. So, yeah. Okay. So, we're going to use this one. We're going to use that one. Let me see what else I'm drawn to. Hmm. Not so much. I think... Now, these here, is, is anyone manifesting? I think I'm going to do one for manifesting as well. Okay, first off, what we're going to do, let me move Let me move these around. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. Let me get these out. Okay. We're going to be using um, angel decks. I'm just going to do angel decks first. That's first. Then I'm going to do romance and anything that you want to know about love. I will do those. Then I feel like I need to do something around manifesting. Uh, so that's what I'm feeling big time. Um, let me see. Let me move some of these cards out of my way so I can set these out. Okay, I feel like from for manifesting sake and such, I'm going to use several different decks here. Um, I've got them set out, and we we're going to be using several, so you're you're going to have to bear with me. Um, okay, let's start off with our angel read. So angel read, then romantic read, and then we'll go with our if you're manifesting what you want. Now, I know not everyone is, but that's it's a good idea, I feel like. Okay, let's start with our angel. Give me just a second. Let me move these cards over. I don't want to knock any off. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes. Okay, we still got 10. Okay, let's get these going. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put out the cards, and I'm going to put out three stacks. They'll have a crystal on top of them, and I'm going to show you. And I, what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to pick a stack. If you pick all three stacks, that's fine. You know, if you feel all three stacks, that's fine. Um, I'm going to have to have a drink of my tea. Let's do this. Ready? Okay. Hopefully everyone can see my stacks okay. Let's see here. Okay. Now, let's get to this. Okay. Spirit, any angel messages that need to be heard by my viewers who are watching now and who will be watching in the future? Ah, hmm. 
Looky there. We've got one that's up. We will take that one. And I will just do it separately at the end. Okay. We got one of those. We're going to have this deck. Okay. One. Okay, now, I want you to look at them really good. And I want you to close your eyes. Which one is calling you? Stack one. Let me move them where you can see them. Stack one, stack two, or stack three. Or maybe it is all of them. Stack one, stack two, stack three. Okay, we're going to start with number one. So we're going to move those over here. We've got nine of abundance. Hopefully you can see it. Okay. Life is wonderful. Your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with great peace and contentment. Take time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure. Feel free to buy yourself small luxurious gifts. You've earned the financial security and independence you now enjoy. So, if it isn't here yet, and I'm going to tell you, Faith, then we have number 25, Spirit Guides. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. That's awesome. I open my heart to my guides and trust in the wisdom they share with me. That is an awesome, awesome card to get. Open yourself up to your guides and allow them to, to guide you where you need to go. Okay. Grace and Antoinette. To help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. And then we have for your gemstone oracle card, we have amethyst. Now, if you don't have an amethyst, that's fine. You don't have to have. You don't have to have any of these crystals I mentioned. That energy will be with you. Carry it with you. Feel like it's with you. Sleep with it. Just know that it's with you and have faith and it will be with you. Okay, you ready? Revealing your true self. As you allow others to know the real you, you feel loved for who you truly are. Be yourself. Be yourself and allow people to love you for who you truly are that's a beautiful reading right there beautiful you claim it number two beautiful moonstone there okay we have four of abundance four of abundance and what this says is it's time to reflect upon your relationship with money are you spending it too freely or are you holding on to it too tightly? This can also relate to how you give of yourself to others. Is your heart open or are you holding back? Your hard work and wise investments will bring you great success. 
questions to ask yourself. Okay, then we have number 13, solar plexus chakra. I take actions daily that awaken my personal power. And you can find uh, meditations online, guided meditations, um, to help, you know, to, to remove blockages or help you to um, open chakras that need to be opened as well. And then we have here Bethany. When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt bath, or pedicure. And then we have rose quartz. So just as I said earlier, if you don't have a rose quartz, that's fine. You don't have to. The energy will be with you. Just have faith. Sleep with that. You know, carry it with you. Meditate with it. Love life. New and renewed romantic love is here for you. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, do you claim it? Okay. Number three. We have five of abundance. And what this says is, there are times when everyone needs a hand. Your angels want you to know that you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Accept the help of those around you. The situation or experiencing the situation you're experiencing is temporary. This may not be the right time to become self-employed. Be patient. So, there's a need for patience. Okay. We have number seven, sacred space. Sacred space. So, where's your sacred space? I find peace, security, and contentment when surrounded by nature's beauty. That's beautiful. Oh, my goodness. We got Archangel Michael. Yes. I love it. Yes. Okay. I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. That is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. You know, that, that's protector right there. Aquamarine. Remember what I said about the others. If you don't have to have this crystal, have faith it will be with you. I'm going to read it to you now. Some of you all wanted to know about your path. Divine life purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. Trust in that intuition. So, now we're going to look at our other card that we had. We've still got eight watching. Okay, we have Messenger of Thought. That was our card that was flipped over. So, this is for someone, or it could be for all of you. Um, a new topic or intellectual project is really exciting for you. There's so much to learn before you feel ready to move forward. New information may require changes to your plans. Review all documents carefully. You know we'll meet or are someone who loves to learn and share knowledge. This person is brilliant and truthful but also blunt and very diplomatic. So, is this you or is this someone else? 
Okay, so next, next I'm going to do Romance Angels. And we'll just see what we get. How's that? That sounds awesome to me. Romance Angels coming up. Okay, let me move these out of my way. Let's move these aside. And we will do some romance cards. Romance cards. I like these pick a cards. I don't know how y'all like them. Y'all can let me know if you like them or not. But I think it kind of gives you the chance to really, you know, pick what you, whichever draws you to it, um, per se. Okay. Now, pull that right here. Oh, okay. Okay. You all ready? Let's get some uh, romantic cards here. Well, we're going to do these for one. Um, this is for romance. Romantic love. I know everyone doesn't want it, but some people do. Okay. I think it's fun. I like doing it uh, this way. I think it's, it's fun. It adds a little bit to it. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay. 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 I'm going to let the screen back down and we will get to it. Okay. Now, I'm going to start with the Romance Angel. Okay. Number one. Number two, number three. Okay. I love these cards. Okay. One. I'm supposed to take two of these. Okay. Okay, well, there'll be two of those, the bottom and the top, after I cut. Okay, awesome sauce. Okay. Now, just give it a look, see what is drawing you which cards? Group one, group two, or group three? Look at them really good. Which is drawing you to them? Now you can look at those stones and you could pick that away. Um, you know, I can actually, I feel like I can show you this part. This is group one, the picture. Hopefully you can see them. It's group one. Because I feel like those could have something to do with picking. Group two. And then we have group three. Okay. Now, close your eyes and pick. What is drawing you to it? You know, group one, group two, group three. Which one? Could be all three. Okay, let's go. Let's go with group one. We're going to start here. First, we have engagement ring. Woo, so, does this automatically mean someone's going to get engaged? No, it could mean something is moving on to a new level. Um, the words are engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. So, for, some, for someone, it feels like something is coming to a completion. And that could change the way that something goes forward 
I'm going to show you the card. It's very beautiful. We have these two beauties. Beautiful cards. I'm going to read them to you. Okay, we have surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So, whatever this is about, you can't control it. So, it's telling you to let go of control issues. This is, It's got that divine timing feel. But, you know, by doing that, if you're holding on to something that, you know, isn't meant for you or something that is holding you back, by letting go and, and by just having faith and allowing to bring in the right something for you or the right person for you, the right relationship. Um, now, if you're already in a relationship, it can, it can mean that things get better. Maybe you're holding on to some resentment for some for something or something. Um, then we have this one, which is sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship, for it is truly sacred. So, if this is a relationship that's already together, you know, maybe there's a need to to just surrender and to um, just flow. You know, allow. Um, a higher power to 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 bring things forward to move things along it's beautiful this is really beautiful it's got a beautiful feel i want to see about this one. Oh my goodness uh new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings now i'm gonna be honest with you someone's going to watch this and it's not a new person per se it is a new person but it's not a new person. Someone has, oh my goodness. For someone, their person has changed. They're totally different in a good way, not in a bad way. Um, it's like they're really who they are meant to be now. But, you know, it's almost like someone may have um, had addictions or something, something, maybe anger issues or something. And it, it held them in this place of, difference now that's for someone but for someone for some of you there's someone new that has stirred your romantic feelings and you know what happens when you get stirred romantic feelings okay so that we've got that that's number one okay number two mm. okay we got the axe e breakup separation Stop the pattern. Silent treatment, abandonment. Oof, mercy. That's a heavy one. Feels pretty heavy. Okay. Got these two beautiful cards. Okay, we've got weight. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So, you know... Don't rush into something. Allow nature to take its course. Take your time. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Now, I feel like if this is a relationship that's coming forward, it, it feels like something is ending for it to come in. That's what it feels like to me. But now, if this is a relationship that you're already in, um, it's like something, you know, there may have been something that's happened and there's been some badness going on. And, you know, if you were thinking about doing something, you're being told to wait, you know, don't rush, just allow things, allow nature to take its course, allow things to happen and transform themselves. Let's see what we got. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So, you know, this feels like, there's a lot of passion here, a lot of passion for one another, a lot of passion in a connection. And it's got a it's got a beautiful feel to it. It really does. It doesn't feel horrible. But at the same time, it feels like, you know, for someone, there's been some form of um, and it feels like some of it's frivolous, um, probably just, you know, over dramatized or something. Maybe someone hurt someone's feelings or such. Now, some, okay, someone is a little bit deeper 
but there's love. There's true love. I mean, it's really love. But the problem is someone really hurt someone. Okay. This one here, we've got karmic relationship. Feeling triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Wow. Mm, that's got a heavy feel to it. Okay. We've got these two cards. Sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. That's that one. I was going to show you. And then we have um, acceptance is key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond your control or our control. And our romance angel is let friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So there may be something that happens where you need to talk to someone or you feel like you need support from someone. And it's okay to, to ask for that support and accept it. So that is what we have in the romantic aspect. So, huh? Thank you. Okay. Now, let's see. Where are we? Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Now, next we were going to do, um, if you are manifesting or wanting to manifest. Um, yeah. And I feel like that, you know, many of, many of us are manifesting what we want. So, um, I don't think I did that last time, but I was drawn to these cards and I felt the words manifest. So there's got to be a reason. There is a reason. Okay. I feel like for one, being very positive about things, even when things try to bring you down, is a big deal. And, uh, you know, don't feel lack. Don't let yourself feel lack. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's um Okay, I haven't been able to see the Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I see that. Uh, how about some of y'all help um because I am, you know, when I've got this down, I can't see. So, um, yeah, uh, I know. So, okay, I've made, I'm making, um, I'm making some of you um, actually moderators <laughs> say, yeah. Um, and you should be able to like click on the little signs beside there and, um, you know, just put them in timeout or whatever you need to do. I mean, um, it should have those little marks beside of it. That's how I was doing it. Um, but I can't like um, whenever I've got that down, I can't see that they're on there. 
So I made several of you moderators. So yeah, there you go. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to doing the manifestation part. Um, because I feel like I'm just pulling some cards is going to help. Um, I'm actually going to add another one. So I'm, I'm going to have to get a drink of something. But these, these here have a lot of feel about, it feels like manifestation. Thank y'all so much. Okay, so let's let's do this. Okay, first off, I gotta have another drink of tea. Okay. Um oh, there they go again. It's different ones. Thank you. Okay, let's go with this. Let's get this done. And I may, if y'all want me to. I may take a special, I might take some cards from different decks. You know, I've got my special ones. Okay. Okay. We're going to do three stacks. There's one. This is around manifestation, manifesting what you want. Messages from a higher power to help you go on that. It feels like that journey, that path. Okay. Please, Spirit. Messages needed manifestation okay there we go Whoops. let's get that down there let's see okay And if y'all haven't subscribed, please do. I feel like people that um, have subscribed, it's like I pick up on them better, it seems like. Okay. And then our last one. And then after we do these here, if y'all would like, um, I may take um, and do some of these with the book. That would be awesome. Okay, so just like we've been doing them, we've got stack one, stack two, stack three. You can pick all three, but you don't have to. You can close your eyes and pick the stack. That is best for you or the stack that shows up to you. Which one is drawing you to it? So we're going to start with stack one. What is the universe trying to tell you? What is God trying to tell you about manifesting what you want? Okay, first off, we have this beautiful card here. If you'll look at that, it's very beautiful. And what it says is quick. What's the shortest distance between you and, okay, wait a minute. For some reason, I'm seeing the word you. Give me a second. There's a reason. Uh, okay. There's someone that's feeling, a, there is something here about distance. Because whenever I got that word, got to that word, I, I seen you. Okay, I'm, I'm not getting it. Okay, let's try this again. Quick, what's the shortest distance between have and have not? Right. What distance? You are there, the universe. Say, so, how are you looking at what you have and what you don't have? Looks like you need to look at it differently, don't you think? What distance? That's very important. I'm going to read that one more time. What's the shortest distance between have and have not? Right. What distance? You're there. Huh. Look at it differently. Okay. Now, let's get this one. That's just a card. And what it says is, As soon as I choose to see the light, in the dark corners, I redirect my power 
toward what I want. So see things totally different. See things in a more positive light and instead of a negative light, it feels like. Because, you know, light, it feels like versus dark, you know, negative versus positive. Somebody, how someone's looking at something. Happiness is my birthright. And yes, it is. Don't hold yourself back with limited beliefs. You know, um, you know, maybe as a child you were told, well, money don't grow on trees or, uh, you know, or such. Or, um, you know, uh, it's limiting yourself. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Then we have this beauty. Look here. Virtue. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. On who you are. Even if you, you, you are different, you know, that's fine. Okay. Opening my mind. And then on the other side, it says, I allow myself to see beyond my beliefs and ideas. So, it's like someone is being held back maybe because, because of, um, you know, what they've been taught and, and, you know, limiting belief systems and, you know, how they have been taught about money or, or such. Okay. Then we have this one, the last one. My home is my peaceful haven. Look at that beautiful home. Isn't that pretty? It looks peaceful. I bless my home with love. I put love in every corner of my home. Lovingly responds with warmth and comfort. I am at peace. So see, that is being positive and feeling peace, even when maybe peace is not all around you. Okay, so that's number one. Do you claim number one? Here's number two. Let's start with number two. Now, there's the beautiful card. And what it says is, the only economy that matters and can actually put money in your purse, your wallet, or the cracks of your sofa is the economy created by your thoughts, words, and actions. Every day, someone new near you becomes a millionaire. Next. The universe. Thoughts. Very important. Thoughts, words, and actions. Remember that when you manifest. <clears throat> and then we have this one. Loving others is easy when I love and accept myself. My heart is open. I allow my love to flow freely. I love myself. I love others. And others love me. And that's, see, that's beautiful. That is such a peaceful feel to feel love. You want it? Feel it. Overcoming fear. You see that? Overcoming fear. I will transcend every loss. Okay. Then we have this beauty. And this is gratitude. You fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. So it's not being sore by the lessons, but being grateful for them because they help move us forward to the next place in life. Then we have this one, which is when I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. Isn't that beautiful? And then we have this one, our last one. When I connect to the spiritual realm, I open the door to receive divine guidance, clear direction, and great wisdom. Ooh, that's beautiful. Opening yourself up to help others, it feels like. 
Okay. Now to our last one, number three. Look at that beautiful card. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? Most don't stop to think, but both having money and not having money make fantastic adventures possible. That wouldn't otherwise be possible. Same goes for having and not having anything else. Everyone's a winner in time and space, the universe. That one's got a real feel to it, too. Okay, we have this one. I am totally adequate for all situations. I am one with the power and wisdom of the universe. I claim this power and it is easy for me to stand up for myself. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then we have encountering conflict. I don't choose sides. I take a stand. And then this one. Detachment. You are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your higher, highest ideas, ideals and, of love. So detachment. You're releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideas of love. So that's important. And then this one. We've got, I find a deeper meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort. And then the last one. My true safety lies in my capacity to align with the love of the universe. So, those are awesome. So, we still have eight. Okay. Let's see. Okay, it looks like we've got a lot going on here. Yeah, it looks that way. Um, it really does. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know how you do that. not giving me an option for that. Either. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm debating whether I should keep going. It looks like we're being like, oh my goodness. I know we've got a lot of people that are <laughs> putting in some, 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 looks like bad stuff on there. Um, Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, maybe I need to hmm. Goodness. Okay, I think I'm going to um I think we'll go off and um we'll see what happens then. <laughs>